Hi guys, my name is Samuel. I'm the founder of Paperless Books, a bookkeeping company based in Canada. And today I'm going to show you how to connect your PayPal account to your Wave accounting software. The first thing you want to do when you're connecting your PayPal account is to make sure that you actually have a bank account um, in your chart of accounts called PayPal, right? So in my chart of accounts, I already have this and you notice I have two uh, PayPal accounts, one in Canadian and also one in US dollars. For me, I use both within my PayPal accounts. And so if you have multiple currencies in your PayPal, you have to make sure that you add each one of them separately. So I've already done that here, but if you want to do it, all you have to do is press add new accounts, select the account type. In this case, it's going to be cash and bank, add in the account name and then click save. Step number two is to download uh, the PayPal CSV within uh, PayPal. So what you want to do here is log into PayPal, click reports. Once you click reports, you're going to click statements and under statements, you're going to click monthly. So here PayPal generates a statement for each month. Um, of transactions, right? What you're going to click is under CSV, you're going to click download under the month that you want. In this case, we want January 2021. So I'm going to click download. Um, I had already downloaded this um, and so it automatically downloaded the file for me. But if you haven't and this is your first time downloading it, you're going to have to wait some time, maybe about a minute or two for it to generate the downloaded file refresh the page and then go back into statements monthly and then click download again and then the file is going to pop up. So I'm going to press save file here. I'm going to drag this to my desktop. I'm going to okay. So here's the file that we need for our uh, PayPal statements. Now the next step you want to do is to create multiple file, uh, files for these and each multiple each file is going to represent a currency and this is because PayPal includes all the different currencies within one statement and so in order for you to upload the statement into uh, wave accounting you have to separate or do each currency individually so I have a Canadian currency and a US currency so I'm going to create two files of these I'm going to label them as so. So this one I'm going to label PayPal USD. And this one I'm going to label PayPal Canadian. Now the next step we want to do is to work on each file individually. So I'm going to open this PayPal USD. And as you can see, like I said, there are Canadian currencies and there are also US currencies. So because this is PayPal USD, all I'm going to do is delete all the Canadian currencies. So that's left me with the USD currencies. The next step you want to do is to remove any um, additional columns that you don't need. Wave accounting can only take descriptions, uh, the amount, and it's usually the gross amount and also the date. So any other column within this uh, file is irrelevant. So what we want to keep is the date. I'm going to delete uh, the time and time zones. I'm also going to delete the fees, net and balance. Uh, I'm going to keep transactions. Uh, no, I'm going to delete transactions. And I'm going to delete everything else. Okay. So all you really need for um, the PayPal account is uh, you also don't need currency. Your gross, your description, and your date. Okay. The next step is to identify uh, which transaction is which. So I know that usually. PayPal has a few different transactions. When it says general currency conversion, it probably means that PayPal transferred um, from one currency to the next. 
when there's an account hold, it's usually a double entry. So it's basically an amount going out and an amount going in. So they cancel each other out. When it says express checkout payment, if it's a positive number, it probably means you made a sale. And if it's a negative number like this, probably means you made a purchase. Um, and, and the last one is your PayPal uh, bill user payment. So this is if you have maybe an eBay account or um, there's, you know, there some type of fees being charged within your PayPal account. It will show as a pre-approved PayPal bill user payment. So just keep this in mind as you uh, upload this CSV into your Wave Accounting software. So the next step is to actually upload the CSV into the Wave Accounting software. And to do this, we're going to go into Transactions. We're going to click Upload a Bank Statement. Uh, we're going to browse for the bank statement that we have. So in this case, it's going to be PayPal USD. The bank account that we're going to select is the bank account that corresponds to PayPal USD. So in this case, it's PayPal USD, of course. And then we're going to click Upload. Once we upload the CSV, uh, Wave Accounting is going to ask us to confirm um, the columns within the CSV. So in this case, we have the date, and that's correct. Uh, the next is the gross amount. Uh, that is correct as well. And then lastly, we have the description, and that's correct as well. So now all we have to do is press Upload Statement. So once you upload the statement, uh, Wave Accounting now shows you all the transactions within the CSV. And it's basically up to you now to choose the right category uh, for each transaction. And that's all I want to show you guys for today. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.